and his opponent standing across in the blue corner. Tip the scales, ripped and ready, 90.4 kilos. Trained by Tapu Upataya out of the All Sorts Gym, Wyong, the central coast of New South Wales. 19 professional fights, 19 wins, 15 big wins coming by way of knockout and zero losses. He proudly represents Australia and Samoa. He is a former New South Wales and Australian champion, former IBF World Youth Champion. He's ranked number 10 in the cruiserweight rankings in the WBO and number four by the IBF tonight. He is the reigning, defending WBO Global and IBF Asia. Oceania champion, I give you Jai Opataya! Bring it in, boys. Bring it in. Jai. Okay, fellas, I spoke to you both in the dressing room. You know exactly what I expect. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourself. Touch him up. Good luck to both of you. Okay, so it is time to do it again. This is Jai Apataya v Ben Kelleher 2. Jai Apataya in the white trunks, Kelleher in the black. Apataya the southpaw and look for that lightning left hand. Ben Damon in commentary alongside Ted Kofi on a big night of boxing for Australia. And Jaya Pattaya looking to put an exclamation mark on it, Ted. Yes, absolutely. Thanks, Ben. Jaya Pattaya looking to um, just take the first steps on his road to um, heavyweight or cruiserweight supremacy or at least world honours. Working from the middle of the ring, working off the jab, just setting himself up, just trying to get that um, repeat rather than allow Kelleher to get that revenge. Last time out between these two, we saw Kelleher really take the action to Jaya Pattaya in the early stages of this first round. He charged out, he threw a lot of shots, and he had some success, but he's more watchful this time. And Jaya Pattaya, as a result, is sitting back and now coming forward with that 1-2 to the body as Kelleher just backed off on him. Well, due to COVID and other reasons, you know, there's been a weird air about sports and having time off and everything else. So that little bit of delay may have caused this slightly slow start, but we thought it might be round four of the last one, but it's gone back to round one again. We'll see how it warms up. Left hook there from Opa Tire. A right hand hooked around as well. Just bouncing and looking for his target. Quite watchful Opa Tire. Didn't take him long last time out against Mark Flanagan to get firing and to find a home for that left hand that we just saw into the gloves of Kelleher. Yeah, they're both sizing out the first round. Kelleher just tried to throw the right hook there, the southpaw killer. And Jai just, just taking a look, touching, throwing occasional one-twos. Looking to be precise is Opatire. Watching, moving forward now with the long left hand to the body. Exactly, Jai's being very precise, can't afford to make any mistakes. Just touching, being very, very predictable with his shots and precise. He will have watched that Flanagan fight, no doubt, Kelleher. Ted, what does he need to do to avoid that straight left hand? Well, he can't sit and just wait on the outside. Um, um, distance um, with Opatai. If he just waits, then Opatai will pick him off all night. He needs to just keep going in at him or stay out of distance. And just keep touching him when he's on the inside to take that confidence away from Opatai. It's going to be hard to do, but if he had to do it, that's what he had to say you know, the best thing is for him to do. Pushes forward now. Does Kelleher? Opatai just counter-punching with a little right-hand hook. On his toes and to the body with that left hand. That's the end of the first. A more measured up attire than we probably expected, and certainly more measured Kelleher. Nice a couple of things. And now we're just first round, and we're having a look. Be sure to add some more as the number one island destination has seen. The angle's a little bit like her to the same, follow the hip. 
and then punch. If it's there, you know what I mean, right? So what I mean by this is when you punch as soon as he steps out, he's setting up for the left hand, yeah? Just keep an eye on, just keep an eye on this area, and it will all read from there. Yeah? Straight away. Straight away, we've had that, we've had that left hand, and that trick will trying to turn off, yeah? yeah? Okay? So, we not so much anticipate it, but look for it. Okay. Yeah. It ain't gonna get any worse from you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Easy. That's my okay. fault. You got this, guys. Follow the hip. Follow the hip and throw a bit more. Throw a few more back feints, like slap the hook. In there. Really oh, interesting yeah. situation in the corner of Kelleher there because the two men speaking to him are Kyle Brumby and Curtis Pegararo. Both of them have fought Jaya Pattaya and both <laughs> of them were stopped in the second round. Wow. We head out for the second now. And Kelleher. Just at that punching range, but Opatai on his feet. Yeah, Opatai is moving well, just finding his range and his distance, looking to throw some combination punches and also some counter punches too. Working high and low. Just touching, finding them range finders, and that opening up a little bit. He appears keen to box tonight, Opatai, at least in these early stages. Right hand just measuring. It's a hand that's given him some trouble in recent years and one they're going to have a look at following this fight. But they are hopeful that December 3 is the next date for upper tyre, assuming he gets through this one. Yeah, sure. He's obviously using this as a as a fight to to stay busy and to get some rounds in. You know, he's not going out like a ball of fire, but he's just being very precise in what he's doing. He's looking. He's very, very got a very keen eye on this fight. Well, he knows from the first time around that Ben Kelleher punches hard and can hit him with shots at times. He goes well to the body there with the right hand as up a tire, but. It's Kelleher following him now. Yeah, Kelleher's waking, waiting a little bit too long to take the shots. He's letting Jarpatai get off first. And he's not countering Jarpatai's shots as well, so is going to get more comfortable if, if that um, stays the same. Jai using the feints well. Cautious off a tie, but counter punching well, and just a upward left hand got through onto Kelleher. There's another one, and Kelleher throws his own, but he's getting counted now, and he takes a couple there. He comes forward, and the mouth Mark guard Beast comes out. out. Kelleher in this corner, taking some shots, and Steve Marshall will get that mouthpiece. But that was ominous for Kelleher. Over here. Yeah, he's just Over waiting here. too long on the outside. Box. Jai Pattaya ranked four in the world. Very, very classy and improving all the time. This is his 20th professional bout. He's won all 19 so far. And he's crowding into Kelleher and producing a nice left hand to finish that second round. Very, very fit is up tight. Does not look like he's even got out of first gear so far. No, I was just going to say, Ben is moving through the gears, just touching looking for them shots. The one two slipping and evading them punches coming back and there you see him knock the mouth piece out of the three. If you do the three as a finish off with your hook, it's more. Hook, straight hook, yeah. Hook, straight hook, or hook, hook. And An announcement that. not too far and away for Tim Zhu against Bowen Morgan. That'll be on main event sometime this year. Details to come on a massive show. Right hook, now, yeah, hook, we're watching hook. a man with world title dreams and, and world second. title class and Jaya Pattaya against the very tough Ben Kelleher. Stay back, stay back. 
Ted, do you expect to see him pick up the pace here, Opatai? Yeah, Jai's going through the gears, as we said at the end of the last round. Um, first round was just, just having a look. Second round was more action, and now he's going to be picking it up even more. Kelleher just can't stand back and wait for him to punch first. It's going to be a very, very short night and dangerous night if he does so. There you go, Combination Jai. from Opatai. He gets through with a few, and Kelleher finishes with the right hands. This yep. is better action in round three. Opatai pushing the pace and Kelleher responding. And also nodding an acknowledgement as well. I think they're tripping over each other's feet there. What can Ben Kelleher do against this slick southpaw? Well, he needs to make him uncomfortable, push him, stay on him, or stay out of range and out of distance. You can't sit in that middle pocket there and just wait for Jai to offload. It's just, it's not going to end well. Through a nice right hand there did Keller hurt, but he takes a left hand in receipt. Yeah, Upper cut nice from up up the time. Nice up up See, Kelleher's working to counter punch, but he's just waiting too long to offer that counter. So he's got to be first in, or he's got to stay out of range. Defensively minded here is Kelleher, but it's not allowing him to attack. Jai's got the eagle eye, but he's got a little bit of blood coming out of his nose, I think. Body shots and a left hand. There is some blood, certainly, from Opatai's nose. That'll be from that earlier right hand. Yeah. Maybe that'll see him increase the urgency. Nice combination punch. Yeah, beautiful. Nice straight punches. Just touching with the left hand and the right hand, evading anything coming back his way and just, just range finding his jab and coming back with them straight, nice straight punches. Hook into the straight left. He loves that combination, does up a time. Tries it again, but Keller has a wake to it, gets underneath. That one got through. So did that. Nice. Same combination, beautiful. Keller had tough, he's still coming forward. Yeah, to his two there. Took some good shots. Body shot two from Opatai, and he winces and takes a deep breath, does Kelleher. Let's have a listen to the corner of Kelleher. Okay, breathe, breathe, get some water. Good job, bro. that was the best round here. Best round. Okay, but now, this guard is great, okay? I know, I know you're not getting hit. I know you can do it, right? So let's just go here, and but then just keep him, and just a little slide, and then you've got to punch off it as you're coming back, yeah? Boom. Yeah? Or you have to punch at the same time. At the same time. As soon as, as, soon as he, time his step, yeah? As soon as he wants to step, we need to go at the same time, okay? And, and then we get this. Right, right, I understand. Yeah, but he has two modes. He has me, he has me. You know, he does that little foot shit, same shit I do. We've sparred 10,000 rounds. Or he has sit down. If he sits, he's going to engage, yeah? As soon as he sits, he's going to engage. I don't know. Good, good technical advice from the corner, but actually much easier said than done. The advice exactly is of telling him to go in and, and, and punch first, but Ben, it's not easy. It's not when you're in there. Certainly not against a man of the quality of Jaya Pattaya, but those two men, as mentioned, have both been in the ring with him, so they do have valuable words for Kelleher, who himself has been once before as well. But he's faced 19 previously and beaten them all off the tie, so it must be a difficult prospect. And we're seeing again tonight, it most certainly is. Jai Pattaya against Ben Kelleher in Brisbane. As Opatai ups his work rate, Kelleher gets in tight and tries to work from there. Yeah, exactly. Opatai is working well. Um, he's, he's, he's being smart in the fact that he's grabbing when he's in close to Kelleher. Just, just kind of stopping any work that Kelleher can do and just when Kelleher's thinking about moving in, Jai stops him with the jab, the hooks, 
the body shots, the uppercuts. He's moving well, looking good. Nice counter from Jarl Patai on the left up and right up. They hang on and wrestle there. And now as they're parted, Jarl Patai back at this punching range. Here you go, looking to touch range finders, looking to set up the big punches. Jab left hand. Kelleher, defensive at centre ring and Opatai looking for openings. Yeah, there you go, nice. Left uppercut, right hand. Kelleher's tough though, it doesn't look like he's really been hurt. He's taken a lot of shots, but he's taken them well. He's managed to avoid that straight left hand, or at least turn it into a glancing blow, or one that catches a fair bit of glove. Yeah, That's what he needs to do. Exactly, exactly right, Ben. Yeah, Jai's got to... Oh, there's a slip. Yeah, Jai's got to turn that into an uppercut up the middle because um, Kelleher's guard is nice and high. It's blocking that straight left from Jai Patai. He's got to turn it into a hook or an uppercut. Inside here and told to work out of it. And Kelleher does. 30 seconds left in round four. Looking for openings is off a tyre, but they're not coming. No, oh, there you go. He even blocked the uppercut from Jarko Tyre. It's good. <laughs> Nothing super clean so far. Let's hear from Tapu Opatai, the father and trainer of Jai Opatai, in the blue corner as they sit down. Stop it if you fucking hit him too much. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So make him fucking even if it's tap, 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 and then use your buttons. Buttons, mouth guard. Yeah. Apologies for the language in the corner, but we did hear that that hand is giving Jaya Pattaya some grief. Yeah, very colourful words, but like he's saying, touch, touch softly with the left and come big on the right. So it must be the left hand of Jarpatai that's probably a little bit tender and they just want to protect it. It's been a well-kept secret, that injury to Apatai's hand. It was leaked out that it was the right, but maybe it is the left that's been giving the grief in recent years and may need to be fixed up. Either way, he's done well regardless. And his father was calling for more activity, which I think we'd all like to see yeah, here absolutely. in round five. Yeah. It's easy to fall into a pattern when you've got the skill levels that Jarpatai has. He needs to go through the gears, go through the levels, switch it up and, and make it um, exciting. But generally, he's boxing well. I mean, he's doing all, everything right and winning the rounds. Really nice uppercut with the Beautiful. right hand there. Beautiful. Is that left and good combinations and left hand follows it up. And this is slick work from Opatai who evades well. Hangs on on the ropes and they're told to box out, but he just turns and gets back in front. Yeah, Jai's just moving, just enjoying this. Great being back in the ring, just touching, getting a good workout. Practicing some great defensive stuff. He's making the, um, Kelleher miss quite a lot, which I've noticed. It's got to be exhausting, too, for Kelleher. He's throwing some big shots, but they are missing by quite a space 
yeah. on Opatire, particularly in this round. And he takes some deep breaths. But does Jaya Pattaya have the hands at the moment to throw his big shots? Yeah, that's the question. Clearly in some discomfort. Yeah, all the punches are there, but the full the full power probably isn't. You know, Jai's got to work the body more if he's got some problems with his hands. Just sink them solid shots into the body. Gallagher's hanging in there, almost doubling his time he was in the first fight. A couple of good shots there from Oppertine. Not much on them, though, as Kelleher presses forward and throws his own shots at range, but nothing telling. Oh. Tell, tell, tell. It is a cut. It's over the right Thank eye you. of Kelleher. He just being in between, in between the punches, giving him just a little bit too much room, okay? And the movement to create, to close the space is a little bit too slow, yeah? So all I want is to sit doing No, no, a little bit of Tyson movement, yeah? That walk, 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 yeah? You can still step your feet at the same speed, just the head just changes those angles, yeah? Okay. Fuck this cut, I don't care if you give a I, don't, I don't care if you get stopped with this cut, all right? Keep using your fucking head and keep being a fucking cunt. And I want to see more cunt moves, okay? It's That's nice a, to give him a spot. Yeah, but you will with the head. When you, when you get there, and again to the viewers, we're sorry, sorry for the colourful language, but the instructions were spot on. He's got to not wait, he's got to really, really push in. He's got to make Jai uncomfortable, and he's got to throw them big shots and hurt Jai to the body. So the waiting around has been the issue. So if he listens to his corner, he should see him start to push the offensive and be the first person to take a punch here there. Only halfway... Well, we are halfway through the fight, but yeah. we're dragging into this round as well. And now Opatai does start to throw some shots. And there's some telling shots coming through as well. Yeah, some nice shots. He stopped Kelleher in his tracks there. But the instruction from Kelleher's corner is, you know, be first, go. Push him. Hit him, don't wait. But Kelleher's cut looks to be getting a lot worse over his right eye. And Jai's pushing him back now. He's going to... Work body and head up and down. Jai has a target in that cut and he's trying to work at it. And he doesn't need to throw big power shots to do so. And Good Kelleher right. takes a big shot and tangles into these ropes and Jai will go to work. Hooking into that cut, punching well. Yeah, looking to put an exclamation mark on this performance. Pressing the pace he's now is Jai right Pattaya. He's looking for the stop. He's doing everything he can to force the referee to stop this fight. He digs in with some big shots as Kelleher tries to cover up. Halfway through this sixth round. Got it's been one-way well. traffic for Jai Pattaya. The referee's got to get close to Kelleher's not even punching back. He covers up. He staggers forward, but he's taking lots of shots to the body as well. He's taking a lot of shots. He's he looks very uncomfortable. And hurt over ref. the top, and that'll do it. Go. The towel comes in simultaneously, and second time, same result, and the world awaits for Jai Opatire. He clearly was not at 100% tonight, but when he had his man hurt, he finished it off. It was a bad cut, but it was an energetic performance, and he forced them to stop the fight. It up a time. Absolutely, Ben, in the last round, he really, really picked it up. He saw the cut, he saw his man hurt, and he threw an amazing amount of punches and just did not stop until the towel got through it, thrown in all the referee, stopped and said, enough is enough. Good performance, good finishing performance. He was just picking his shots through that final round as we have a look at the highlights throughout this fight. And tough again was Ben Kelleher. Not as energetic early in this fight, Ted, but 
he showed what he's made of again. Yeah, I do agree. He stood in there, took the punches. He tried to fight back, but you could just see the better ring generalship from Jarpatai. He just knew he was just a more skillful boxer. So when um, when Ben Kelleher ran out of ideas, this is Jar just, just really going through the gears into fifth and into sixth. And you could see, I thought the referee was going to step in anyway, but I'm glad the towel came in. It was a very, very good stoppage. It was. It was time because he wasn't throwing back and he'd taken a lot of shots. It was a big left hook that started things here. That's right. And, and the body language. He was all at sea, trying to fight back, not trying to hang on. But he'd taken enough shots and the towel came at the same time that the referee stepped in. And good stoppage. He wins it again. Jaya Pataya, 2-0 against Ben Kelleher. First time he broke his hand, this time he was cut. But both times he was stopped and they embrace. And pure class from Ben Kelleher says you're a great champion. He's disappointed, but again, he showed how tough he is. He's only lost two professional fights, and they've both been against this star, Opatire. Gallian effort. And, well, is it the right hands? Hard to say. Maybe it's both. But something gave Jai Pattaya some trouble, and he wasn't throwing with his usual force, but it didn't matter because he's got the stoppage victory. Let's make it official with James O'Shea. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's make this one official. Put your hands together for our two main event fighters. This one brought to you, of course, by beautiful Samoa. One minute 50 of round number six. Your referee, Steve Marshall, calls a halt to the contest. Your winner by technical knockout and still WBO Global and IBF Asia Oceana champion, Jai Obataya! Keep your people close to you because you need to.